Very unique. Very weird. Is it a Louie? Here's your coffee, sir. It's hot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Pirates of all ages, what is up? We are here. We are about to go pick up a load. We got to sell some Saturday, some Sunday, a Monday. We got birthday parties this weekend. We got all sorts of stuff to accomplish. So that's the task today. Stay tuned. The rest will unfold. Maybe even do some unboxing. I don't know. Maybe probably she won't make a video, but I'm going to throw that out there because I like to be that dad. Here we are. You remember how to open a store's door? Yes. No. No, she has no strength. She hasn't done this in months. Months. Yep, we're here to load this unit. Fill up a load out of here. Yep, everything made it safely. She does work. Separating, because what I'm going to do is I'm going out Saturday, so I'm going to put some nicer things for my Saturday load or maybe my Sunday load, which will go in the pickup. This will all be saved for Monday. Can you close this up? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. She even remembers how to close the door, ladies and gentlemen. Good job. Look at that. You wearing your uh, Tucker Upper Freedom to Dream shirt? Can I just take pause for a minute for this commercial break? It's brought to you by Tucker Upper and his Freedom to Dream shirt he sent and we gave to Call Princess. Storage auction pirate. And we knocked out this much. Maybe one more load and we'll be done with this as far as flea market goes. We made it to our next destination. We gotta load that, 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 and that, that. Get in here and get that out of here so we can make a flea market. Did you get all that, baby girl? That, 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 and that. Okay. We got this loaded real quick. We got a smooth little market we're doing Saturday. You know this is the first market I've done in almost three months, baby girl? Really? Yeah. We got all this stuff here. It sucks because you know what's crazy? I haven't been here since yesterday and I can't sleep at night. I need to open up one thing here at least. And I think... See that trunk back there is what I want to go through. I could peek through it because it's open and doesn't close. So I'm going to need you to film something. I was interested in this because you can see it's not opened. I mean, it's not closed all the way. I can see there's clothing here, but I need to know what's in here. It's a very nice box. This box to me looks, what's this say right here? Geo something shawl, yeah. Nevada. City, California. And then it's got the fraternal order cross there and stuff. Very unique, very weird. Is it a Louie? There's no words on it. But anyway, let's get to it and open it up. Still no words. Look at this. Look at this, let's get a whole quick pan through of this. It's got a cross, right? Somewhere I just saw the cross there. Yep. See, look at that. What's that symbolize? This to me symbolizes silver thread. 100 years old type patch. Can you read this stuff or at least show it real close? JM Litchfield and Co. San Francisco, California. Geo and Shaw. So basically this goes with the sword. This goes with the sword we have. Very nice. Then, come here. It's like a priest or something. This looks better than I was hoping. Not what I was hoping for in there, but it's definitely something I'm very intrigued by. Something's missing here. See that? That mm -hmm. sucks. This is some cool work here, right? Look at this one. This is obviously it goes. It's got two sides though, no? Yeah. Maybe not. It goes, it goes around your shoulders. Yeah, like, like a the priest. Pope. Yeah. Oh, pope. this clips clips in there. Oh, wow. Am I popey? Yeah. I think it's supposed to go around your shoulders. I don't know. It doesn't look right. I don't know either, but it's it's unique. Let's fold this up nice and neat. Get this all purdy. Okay. These look like they're just normal pants for it, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at the tags we got here. Heck of buttons in there. Oakland, California, N.W. Shaw. Yeah, heck of buttons. Can you imagine you gotta go number two and you gotta take all these buttons off? And I just don't get why they're all around the waistband, too. I mean, all around the world. <laughs> I just wanna go cut through this because this doesn't look as fun. It's a jacket. Okay, this is very feminine like, I think. Maybe it's a female, maybe not. 
Rat ate that one. Tore that. Look at Suck this. It it's in kind of rafferty shape. What? Well, I don't, I'm curious if that stays on there. It doesn't seem like it's part of the hat. No, it's not. Ooh, okay, that's a cover. Look at that. Who do you, who would wear something like that? Harold. Look at the pins and buttons. This, look at the crudeness of the beak. See how it's the bill, it's not uniform. See the stitching of this? The style of this thing right here has to be old. It has to be like old, old. Like Uncle Michael old? No. Uncle Michael old? Really, not Uncle Michael old. I just oh. had to say that real quick because everybody gives me a hard time for picking on Uncle Michael, so it makes me pick on him more. And people don't really... Could you, you baby girl, you know me and Uncle Michael a long time. Mimi says you, you pick on You ever see Uncle Michael too. not pick on me? Mimi says you pick on him too. Huh? Mimi says you pick on him too. I pick on him? Yeah. Because she watches my videos. Yeah. But she doesn't see that he picks on me all the time. That's what bugs me is no one sees that Uncle Michael picks on me all the time. I see it. Poor victim Uncle Michael. I think Clint got to see it. Because he helped you one day. Yeah, he did. He got to see it in, in first fashion. He said it was really funny. You guys argue like the whole time. The whole time. It's not just me. <laughs> it's not. What is this? It's a belt. Yeah, it could be a belt. That's tight, though. Something. Straps. Ooh, hoo, hoo. is there a buckle? Look at that. What is the value on this stuff? That smells like silver. <laughs> this is re this is really intriguing me because um, I feel like there could be like a thousand bucks in here. Look at this. What do you have? candles yeah but look at those these are older than dirt look at the craftsmanship on that right careful don't break things michael then you got these really interesting blue are these seance candles or something what do you do with these i don't know there's wick at the top i think it is candles there's leaves in here this was his like meditation kit my country, tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the... Oh, I'm getting IC. nostalgia. Are we allowed to sing that still? Oh, no. Oh, no. Some places we're allowed to sing that, right? What's that? All right. Then we have... I challenge you to a do. <laughs> no? All right. We got George Shaw, Nevada Council. George Shaw. This is neat. This needs to go with the sword we have at the house, and I must, I must take it back with me. I must take this home today. So, let's pack this up all nice and neat. What do you think, real quick, the value is? If you had to guess, Saw Princess, what is the value in this? I hate when you do this to me, because I never know. Like, I can never guess a value. What would you, you guess? Like... For all of it, all of this, the whole box? The whole box, plus it comes with a sword. Because I believe the sword goes with this now. Mm, like, like 600, I'm thinking, like 1,000. Like. I'm thinking in the, in the 1,000 to 1,500. Look at these buttons here. Look at the craftsmanship. This is old. You don't understand these patches right here, the stitching, the style of these, the era. This is the things you need to learn. Because if I'm gone tomorrow, how are you going to sell this and feed your son? I don't know. I don't know either. Because I don't know how to drive. <laughs> I'm excited because I understand value. And I told you guys in the last few videos of this that I believe that they were Freemasons. I already knew they were Freemasons. But to find really historical Freemason stuff is very different. It's usually more mid-1900s. This stuff is very old. But I got to run. We got to rush. We got so much more to go. I just told you I couldn't sleep all night thinking about that box. I needed to open it. We're going to go home, finish up, do some other things. And maybe there'll be some more in this video. Now we got to pick up another special surprise that I've been waiting to pick up. How you doing? How's it going? All right, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This just happened. I went and picked up the other hat. I'm not really impressed with this one. This is printed. I needed to see it before I made my decision but i'm gonna definitely go with this embroidery hats let's have my little meeting 
with the people who print them, the hats, shirts, sweaters, etc., etc. We'll be moving forward. Now we hit FedEx, ship off some packages. Ooh, and then when we get to go home, we get to play in the garage and take care of business, make ads, and do all those other storage auction party things that actually bring in the money. And we are back here at the casa in the cave. And I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about some things. I've had a lot of requests for some for certain blah, 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 certain types of videos. Some people have suggested that I make a video. They wanna know how much I sold in quarantine and how I sold it. They wanna like hear what got me my money I made during quarantine. And as well, I've had a couple people asking me to make a video updating what I've sold on the train, you know, so far, how much, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody's curious, oh, did Pirate lose all his money on the 34,000 or did Pirate actually make money? And I'm taking my time. So I'm contemplating making an update little video of just that. Maybe I'll do it on live, I'm unsure. Give me advice in the comment section. Take a little break from the hustle grind and wine like I do almost every night. We're making dinner, first dish. One of my signature dishes is this corn. I roll it in butter. All of me see the roll in butter. Boom, butter. Then we use lemon pepper, cayenne, and garlic. And we put it in the oven for one hour. Multitasking is uh, pretty much something I do on a regular basis. I'm cooking dinner and well, I'm trying to crunch numbers. That's just one number we'll be crunching. Looks like we do got to pack some items here. So we're probably going to pack these three up. Before doing that, we will explain some things of how things sell as well. And what I sold them for. Is this the right one? 0517. Yes, it is. This little train here, people laugh at me. They tell me, oh, you priced this too high. It's the third one I've sold at, what, $150 for one singular little HO scale train. It's always, I've been trying to teach my son this recently, and it's something other people I think should learn as well. You can't price something too high. You can always go too low, but you cannot price something too high. Second item we're packing is a Rolling Stones, it's only rock and roll. This sold for $15. I use these record makers. I buy them for like 40 cents a piece or so. It's the simplest item to pack. Done. Last item of the day is this train. It's pretty much new in the box. It's been opened, but it has not, doesn't look to be played with. We sold this for $55.19. Let's hope my son was right on the shipping dimension, so that's all that really needs to be paid. I wonder how many remember that time Alex, storage doctor, and I bought a unit for $10 full of boxes. Don't know why we did. We ended up moving them to my storage. He doesn't like using them. They make this weird box, right? See, look how they're very thin, but they're very big, and they actually have been very useful in trains. I got well over a thousand boxes from there, but you take two of them, and it makes a box like this and you just close it up. I'll show you right quick. Then we'll sprinkle up some paper all around there for safety. Voila, paper all around all edges. It's always important to get the measurements right because look up the, even when I got a cheap run, it went up again. Voila, we're done. They laughed at me when I bought that box. But I mean, they, I mean, all sort of people on all over the place. Like, what, you don't even know what you're doing. You bought all these useless boxes for $10. I've been using them for going on almost a year now. Saved a ton of money. You would buy a box in stores like 50, 60 cents to a buck 50 that size. Man, I love them. Anyway, now that we're done multitasking, now that we're in the midst of multitasking, let's go put the steak on the grill. There she is. Let's let her cook a little bit. Literally, how you see, this is how fast paced everything I do. It's just boom. I'm non stop hustle, crying, rewind, round the clock. It's something, whether it's work, family, food, whatever the case may be. There is no real rest. It's just do. Occasionally, occasionally, we might take a sip of a Corona. Like I said, I feel if I drink Corona, I get don't get Corona. So that's just my mentality. 